Hello, my name is Joanna Manousis and I'm the artist in residence at the uh, Corning Museum of Glass through the month of October 2012. The majority of my work here at the museum has been developing new pieces. So for instance, I've been making an installation of glass mylar balloons. I've been making pomegranates. I've been making my pat de verre paper sheets. I'm currently working on a full size a uh, six foot tall mirror, it's a laser cut mirror which has my lace kind of manipulated onto the mirror's surface so that when the viewer stands in front of the veil they're shrouded by it. The staff have been really helpful. I try to do everything myself but when it comes to blowing glass I've had a little bit of help you know, having um, a facility, everything to use, play with, experiment with, that's been great. I've, I've had a wonderful time. It's, it's gone really quick. My work isn't always just about one thing. I shoot off in all sorts of directions, so. I've been creating large-scale, solid cast crystal pieces. They're a collection of five jars, and uh, each crystal jar has the negative space of various objects that denote a portrait of an individual. So these jars are called distilled portraits and uh, once the casting process is finished I uh, unveil the piece from the mould, polish the exterior of each piece and that in turn uh, reveals the inner core of the objects that I have inside them. Uh, once they've been polished by hand those cores they are mirrored internally so that the object within each jar is a three-dimensional mirror and it's that three-dimensional mirror that reflects the individual but also reflects the audience uh, viewing the piece. The benefits, okay, full access to a studio, a stipend, a roof over my head. The museum has enabled me to be here and create without the burden of finance and all of those things that we worry about. So I always knew that I'd want to use a peacock at some point in my work and I managed to get on a waiting list for a peacock. So behind me you will see uh, Priscilla the peacock. When the peacock came I set about uh, installing these glass succulent cacti under the feathers so they would be trailing off the bird's neck like moss. I really felt that I wanted the peacock to be a pedestal for this adornment. I'm really interested in that shift between what is real and what is artifice. I get inspired by a lot of stuff. Life, people, books, objects of the everyday, and nature, the material itself, individuals in my life. I'm a painter at heart. I, I've painted and drawn for years, way before I touch glass and I see my pieces as narratives. It's been great. I'm gonna to talk to the camera. <laughs> it's, been, it's been really great to have a studio, a fully equipped glass studio for four weeks. It needs to be a year. I need to stay here, but it's been great. Thank you, Corning. <laughs>